I guess that leaves the newest guardian. Star player of the Xanarkand Abes. You are... I am... Well, um... I'm glad... I'm glad that we met. We haven't even known each other that long, but... <sighs> it's funny. So... So this is what it feels like. It's a much more wonderful feeling than anything I had ever imagined. <laughs> wonderful. But it hurts sometimes. Mm. Mm. I think they should just have a permanent name for Titus, like a I... definite name. <laughs> I just want to say thank so you could, for uh... everything. Yeah, so they, they would be able to reference him more, you know what I mean? Like, the fact that you could change his name... Maybe... Maybe that's why it hurts. That's why Yuna doesn't reference him that when much. I, when I think about us never being together again at all... I'm afraid. I don't know, it just feels so impersonal. Like, and then there's you. I'm so glad I met you, you know, like... No, I shouldn't say that. They should've... I'll do that part over. <laughs> she just doesn't know what to say, but yeah, they should have just, you know, kept a, a definite um, name for Titus. I don't really care about choosing my own name to. for him anyway. Uh, so there's Titus now approaching her, but yeah, they should have done that. It's it's okay. It doesn't bother me that much, but uh, I think it would have overall. It would. It probably. It, it it just that message to Titus at the end for whatever reason. It was cool from Yuna, you know, hearing that from Yuna, but it just felt a little impersonal, not having. Um, you know, not having her reference him by his name, Titus or Titus or any way you guys would like to pronounce it. <laughs> All right, now where we're, where are we heading? Oh boy, that looks crazy. Down the pathway to Xanarkin we go. It's a long road. Sorry for the little cut in my video, real quick. <laughs> Freaking, uh, kind of like. My editing got a little messed up for a reason there, but we're back and we're headed towards Xanarkin. I can't believe we're pretty much here already. That's wild. And there's no enemies here, thank God. It's just a long, long way down. <laughs> and now we're going to come upon a very familiar scene coming up here soon. That I'm sure everybody who's been watching my Final Fantasy from the beginning will recognize this scene. And here it is. Does this area look familiar? And here we go. The opening to the vi to Final Fantasy X revisited. So this is what you everyone saw in the opening credits. Or the opening. Yelp. You know, every time it showed the opening, it's like, oh, I wonder where this scene is. I don't remember this in the game. What's actually all the way towards the end of the game here? Not saying we're at the end of the game yet, but you know, we are closing in. So, <coughs> so now this scene actually kind of comes puts th this. This is awesome. This is a thing I liked a lot about this game is the fact that you saw the scene in the beginning and it didn't really mean that much to us when we first saw it when we first played the game and now seeing it again for the second time this scene means that much more you know it's kind of like think of this as their final resting stop or their final you know building a little campfire uh, campfire whatever it could very well be you know the last get together that they have with you you know Yuna and her guardians so it's that much more powerful. <laughs> Man, I cannot believe. The last time I saw the scene was when I recorded it at, I think it was December 28th or something like that. I recorded the very first part of this game. And here we are again, December, January, February, March, towards the end, uh, three months later. Uh, seeing this scene again. 
listen to my story. This may be our last chance. Wow. I'm just like at a loss for words. We're closing it. We're getting so close to the end of the game, yet we're not. I mean, we still have a lot of side stuff to do, but story-wise, we're we're getting we're pretty much right there. Hey, there was more, right? Yeah, I mean, like that time. Uh, anyone? I think. Yes? I think that we should stop. Maybe. For now. Oh. I see what Titus was getting at. He's just trying to prolong as much as possible. We don't want he doesn't want you to continue. I'm sure a lot of them, a lot of the guardians don't want her to continue either, but it's her journey, you know. This is Let's go. Yuna's story, not just Titus's. Yep. Wow. Okay, well uh, I'm gonna do just a little bit of leveling here, I guess. Sphere leveling in the works, and I'm gonna stop the episode here. This is, uh, this, I've been recording for almost like an hour, 20 minutes, literally. I've been <laughs> I've been recording since the the Seymour fight in Gagazette, in case you're curious. So it's been kind of a long recording, and um, I guess I'm just gonna end it up with a little sphere leveling, and we're ready. This will probably be a short episode. And you notice I didn't move Titus yet. I'm just trying to. I'm gonna. Pro I'm gonna figure out between episodes. I'm just not sure yet. Um, what tree I want to take them down next. So, see, so Warren is here. I don't want to move him yet either. It's okay. We're still gonna be accumulating sphere levels anyway. I'll figure out. And here you go. Riku gets her last ability. Bribe. We can bribe enemies. Give him some money, and sometimes you can get some better loot or something off of him. I forget how it works. Alright, Kamari. Okay. And Titus is set. One last thing I want to do. And... I forgot to put Titus' brotherhood back on. And that'll be it. This is going to be a short episode. We're going to save the game here. Thank you all for watching. And we'll see you next time. Thank you all very much. We are in Xanarkand as Yuna goes to get her final Aeon. What will happen? Find out next time. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.